Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Ann. And today, I'm going to be reviewing another low-budget, obscured movie, and yet yeah, it's, it's old, of course. So, this film is a kung fu feature, because I like, the, I like these movies, especially, you know, from this era, I guess, the, the really obs the super obscured stuff, to be more specific here. So this one is titled The 18 Bronze Girls of Shaolin. Or you can just call it Yeah, 18 Bronze Girls. Like it says on this double feature disc I have right here, folks. Why is it like that? I don't know. That's confusing. Might be thinking it's a different movie. I need a vacation. Yeah, that sounds about right. So yeah. Anyway. And it was released in different years, of course, several years apart. Again, that's confusing because if you don't know it better, you might be thinking it's a different movie. So, what the hell? Anyway, so yeah, there's the, um, yeah, by the way, it'll play 18 bronze scores or 18, the 18 bronze scores of Shaolin right away. But you just go to root menu to um, select which movie you want to play, folks. And when it comes to this um, double feature disc, just so you know, and you've got the bonus feature right here. It doesn't much to it. It gives you a listing of, of this is a website right there you could go to, of course, if you want to. But it gives you a listing of the all the martial double feature packs that this uh, company had released over the years. They didn't make these movies, just so you know. They didn't make them. They just released the English dubbed versions. Just, just so you know, the English dubbed versions were the movies that they released. They didn't make the movies themselves. They just dubbed it over. Um, uh, at least some of these movies are public domain, I guess you would say. And they just released these versions, I guess you would say. So to be more uh, precise here. So I just thought I'd let you know. So uh, I'll give it back to this. So you can just select either or, but I'd be talking about the one with the bronze women. And yes, there's supposed to be statues, the no kung fu, which I will admit is actually pretty, pretty cool in its own little way. So I guess the idea here is that the villain, the main bad guy, who does show up, of course, it's this dude. I guess he realized that our heroes, our main cast of characters. Their Kung Fu is, like, really strong. And so he needs, like, this. His golden statues and uh, somehow are brought to life. And uses them as, like, the secret weapon. Because they know Kung Fu super well. Super well and use them to fight a main cast of characters. And, well, can't blame the movie for trying to be creative, I guess. So there's that, I guess. And also, this, there's this monk... Okay, there's more of them actually, and that that's pretty cool there. Well, anyway, as usual, let's talk about the plot, folks, shall we? So here we go. And yeah, there was bits of comedy throughout the entire film, but I wouldn't exactly call this movie a comedy, really. But whatever, it's in there. Like I said, the monks will play a part in the story because they have to do what they believe to be the correct thing. And there's also this woman. As well, who's supposed to be a tough guy? Yeah, and there's um, there's also this this guy that does dress up as a chick, which no, they're not trying to make fun of transvestites or cross dressers, trans people. It is some bits and pieces were just done as a joke. Doing some parts here, they're, like they were trying to sneak around to some places and whatnot. That that was all. They're not trying to mock a certain group of people. Just just to be clear here, but anyway. There's also a bit of a film where the group of Kung Fu characters who are supposed to be, the, you know, the heroes and heroines, I guess. Yeah, they go to this place where it's filled with a bunch of booby traps. And, oh boy, that makes suspense for somehow, I guess. And, yes, this is one of those movies that takes place in a certain period of time in Asia, which is fine. And, yeah, it's uh, definitely one of those type movies where we get to hear that. The narrator points out the fact that there were all these Shaolin temples thousands of years ago that were famous 
for their Kung Fu schools, and everyone has to come to these temples with Kung Fu skills. Even the best fighters in the world didn't even dare to challenge these students, Shaolin students, I guess you can say. Because they're supposed to be like some of the best, obviously. And the thing is that, like I said, it's supposed to take place during a certain period. It's a period pace of Asia. And the thing is that during the Xing Dynasty, excuse me if I butchered that, folks. And the thing is that uh, this government had total control of the Shaolin temples and schools. So there was these monks, and uh, they maybe weren't real monks or something. And in fact, there was somebody that was evil. Uh, an evil monk, I guess you would say. Uh, at least, well, yeah, what is one of them wasn't an, an, a good monk anyway, because this guy's an asshole, I guess. And, um, but yeah, there was, uh, there was something that needs to be done. These type of women were selected for him, but like the, this golden women, I guess you would say. They were supposed, they were at least come off like, you know, like these strong Kung Fu martial arts. These women, I was. The golden women I was referring to a moment ago, folks. So, yeah, it's pretty damn crazy. And again, the actual unedited, unaltered versions of these films can be a pain in the ass. Well, you can always look on eBay and Amazon and, uh, and just try your best, I guess. Or any other legal site you can think of. Uh, you could go to one of those th theft stores, which I've been to quite a few, to find some. Or uh, a Goodwill to find some of these Kung Fu features, the unedited versions. Or uh, another, I guess, used store could be this as well. Or, or it could be a good, a decent bet. Probably a better one would probably be like a store like this. And I guess that's a chance there. It's possible. It'd just be difficult, is all I'm saying. Since I've brought up this website a little earlier in the video, yeah, by the looks of it, this website pretty much promotes these uh, public domain movies. And this set right here was released in 2007. So oh, yeah, that seems to be its target kind of thing, I guess. Or whoever's interested in this kind of stuff. I guess in reference, I was saying a moment ago is that, yes, unfortunately, this is the American English dub version I'm talking about. Of course, this double feature. And I mean, sometimes I have some sets here that does contain the American dub version of one movie, but then the original version of a different movie in the same pack. I've I've had that before, but that's not the case here. But anyway, yes, the this English dubbing. A dubbing it's not fantastic. It doesn't do anything groundbreaking, but the dubbing it does its job, I guess. As for the fight scenes, of course I have to talk about the fight scenes. It's kung fu for crying out loud. They're, they're pretty well done, and I like the way it's choreographed, I guess you can say. Especially towards the end, really. I like the the last uh, the last few fights towards the end of the movie, they, they were pretty cool. And the thing is, like I was saying earlier as well, is that th there were some comedy bits, yes, but they kind of get brushed off to the side because that that was like early on in the movie, but they get pushed off to the side, which is fine by me because I prefer these movies to take themselves more serious. I know, I know before anyone says anything, that's more of a me thing, really, but anyway. I'll give this version an overall rating of a 7.0. I think it's a 7.010 for me. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.